Greetings, uh, my name is Jack. I'm the head of product development here at Caterpillar. And uh, we're here today to talk about magnets. Everything you wanted to know about magnets but were afraid to ask. Actually, it starts with a letter. So we got a letter last week. It says, greetings, Caterpillar. I am contacting you regarding your new magnet system. I was super excited about the thought of having my applique transfers being held down on the Glow Mini light box. She's referring to our new Glow Mini, which has some uh, built-in plates, built into the acrylic, which allows us to use magnets, these specially designed magnets to hold your transfers and tracing down. However, after testing several types of strong refrigerator magnets, I am disappointed to report that none of my papers are being held down, uh, being held in place at all. What am I doing wrong? So let's talk about Kate's issue with magnets. I brought these refrigerator magnets here. So let's illustrate why uh, Kate's uh, magnets aren't working and why the Caterpillar magnets we designed uh, do work. So first of all, we designed the Caterpillar magnets with the strongest consumer magnet that you can buy. It's called an M52. You can see that it is um, does the job quite well. Now, Kate, I don't know which particular magnet she was trying out, so I brought a bunch of uh, different magnets from home to show this is the strongest magnet that I could find. I actually know this one. And I want to show you the difference here. So, first of all, let's test the Caterpillar magnet. You can see that it's so strong that it, it almost lifts the board up. Um, so now let's try some other magnets. So this is the strongest one I could find. And it's not even close. It does hold pretty well, but not even close. So let's try one of these. Again, not even close. On their own, they're pretty strong magnets, but uh, in conjunction with the acrylic and the metal that's implanted into the light board, even these uh, name tag magnets don't do even one tenth. This is another strong magnet that's plastic coated. Uh, this is an N52 magnet, the same as this. This is an interesting, it's rubber coated and it's flat. Uh, you can see it's quite strong when it comes to, but when it regards to the acrylic here, again, it's not strong at all. What we discovered was the magnet uh, itself is important to show what shape it is. So these are cylinder magnets. Uh, the magnetic field, if I had a, a really good graphics department, I would show right now how the magnetic field shoots out of the end like a rocket. So pretend that you can see that. We don't have a graphics department here. But the cylinder magnet the magnetic field comes out quite far, and that's the difference why versus some of these other magnets, which are quite flat. Now, the exception is, is if you happen to have one of these laser cap magnets. They're very rare, hard to find. These laser cap magnets are almost well, about the strongest magnet you can find. You can see I can barely move the laser cap's magnet here. So, oh, there we go. So, if you happen to have one of these laser cap magnets, uh, please feel free to use these. They are pretty rare, as you can see. But if not, go ahead and pick yourself up one of our, our magnet sets on Caterpillar.com, and you can use that on the Glow Mini, but you can also use it on any light board by installing these self-adhesive plates and turning your existing light board, or any light board for that, mat for that, that matter, into... a tracing tool, which is, you can see is awesome. So, so there you have it. Uh, now you'll maybe have a better understanding about how the magnets work on the Caterpillar Glows and have a better appreciation for the kind of thought that goes into uh, developing products here at Caterpillar. So thanks for your time.